Hi guys, let us see the answer for the exercise questions given in the last video. So the question is 10 friends plan to share equally the cost of buying a gift for the teacher and two of them decided not to contribute. Each of the other friends had to pay 150 more. What is the cost of the gift? So now you take assume the amount is equal to x. We assume amount is equal to x so what is the average for 10 people that is x by 10 is equal to, so when it is divided by 8 people that is x by 8 we have to pay additional 150 rupees so when you divide by x by 8 we have to pay 150 rupees additionally so this is what the statement we assumed x is equal to amount of the gift okay now we can bring the x by 10 the x minus 8 we can bring it this side so it will become x by minus x by 8 which is equal to 150 okay now as the 10 and 8, the common multiple, you can take it as 40. So, what will happen to this statement? That is, uh, 40 means 4 into 10. So, 4x minus 5x divided by 40 is equal to 150 so based on this what we get this 40 if it goes to other side it will become multiplication of 40 into 150 so 4x minus 5x will become minus 1x is equal to 6000 as the amount cannot be negative so we assume we take it as x is equal to 6000 the right answer is option c next question is passenger train leaves a train station on schedule a freight train had departed from the same station two hours before the passenger train the passenger train is headed in the same direction as the freight train average speed of 60 km per hour the passenger train catches up with the freight train in 4 hours and overtakes it. Calculate the speed of the freight train. So now you know the formula for the distance. Distance is equal to speed into time. That is d is equal to s into t. That formula you know. So as per this formula, the distance covered by passenger train distance covered by passenger train so how will you find it distance covered by passenger train is equal to what we get so what is the formula speed into time so what is the speed of the passenger train 60 km per hour what is the time it takes 4 hours so what is the total distance? 240 kilometer per hour. The same distance it was covered by the freight train in 6 hours. Because it started 2 hours earlier, even after 6 hours, it reached only 240 kilometer. So, based on the same formula, we know the distance and we know the time. So, what is the speed? So, we can calculate speed is equal to distance divided by t. So, accordingly, so what is the distance covered? 240 divided by how much time the freight train takes for the same distance? 6. So, the speed of the freight train is 40. So, the option B is the right answer.
Next question is a housewife spends half of her husband's salary on expenses of the house, one by fourth on rent, one by fifth on daily travel. The remaining amount she deposits in a bank. That amount is rupees fifty rupees at the end of every month. So we should find what is the salary of her husband. So what is a way to find it? So the salary is equal. To, so how much she spends? One by Two, that is half for the house expenses 1 by 4th on rent plus 1 by 5th on daily expenses that is the total expenses multiplied by s yes. and how much uh, the saving amount that is 50 rupees this is the total salary so now we have to find out the LCM of that uh, denominators so what is that two four five no so we are taking 20 as a lcm so if we take 20 as a lcm so first uh, fraction 2 into 10 so 10 plus next one 4 into 5 20 so 5 plus next one 5 into 4 so 4 so this divided by 20 again multiplied by yes plus 50 isn't it now this uh, 10 plus 5 plus 4 it will become 19 by 20 s yes, uh, plus 50 send it so left side yes is there that also we have to note it down so 90 by 20 s yes, uh, this you can write it as because 20 is a fraction no so 20 should be multiplied by uh, uh, 50 because 20 as a, a common denominator if you take it like this so what will happen 90 s yes, uh, plus 20 into 50 how much it comes it comes thousand because whole thing divided by 20 send it whole thing divided by 20 okay now if the 20 comes in the left side it will become 20s yes. is equal to 19 s yes, uh, plus 1000 okay now if we take uh, this 19s yes in the left side so 20s yes minus 19s yes is equal to thousand so that means what is the answer yes is equal to thousand total salary is equal to thousand the option is option d next question is the average of 20 numbers is zero of them at the most how many may be greater than zero so this is very easy to find the answer if you assume all the uh, 90 numbers are positive suppose you assume like that even if all the 90 numbers are positive so for example addition of or sum of 19 numbers because that is maximum 19 numbers 19 numbers greater than 0 suppose you take a Suppose the 20th number, if we take a minus a, then the average will become 0. So, the maximum number of uh, numbers may be greater than 0 is 19. That is, option D is the right answer. Question for thought today is. Two numbers are respectively 20 percentage and 50 percentage more than a third number what is the ratio of two numbers let us see the solution in the next video